Good day and welcome back to OS First Timer. In this episode, Dinah will be destroying the shell as requested by Mighty Eagle 73 back when our Patreon was still operating. So be sure to go check out his channel. Anyway, this time around we do things a little differently as Diana plays Death Command Roulette, in which she has to attempt to execute all the safe terminal commands from a list that contains four destructive ones. Will Diana be able to pick out all the safe ones or will she execute a bad one by mistake? Keep watching to find out. Okay, so here we are. Before you destroy the shell, you're going to install the shell. So let's see kind of what it's like to install Victor Trans Linux distro that's based on Arch Linux. Okay, so boot the shell. This is what the installer looks like. It says, welcome to the shell OS. What would you like to do now? No, you don't want to do that. You no, want to no, install no. it. No, no, no. I want to install. <laughs> and see, it says, okay, let's check that your PC meets the requirements. You have 8 gigs space here. It's all here. good. Are you going to erase drive or open the partition manager? Well, if I erase the drive, that'll be destroying it. No, but you haven't installed it yet. You've got to generally, <laughs> when you install an operating system for the first time, you've got to kind of erase what's on the drive or what's on the partition so it's a clean slate ready for the operating system to okay. go there. Get it? Do you find this a very easy setup? Do you think Victor Tran kind of it, created a good installer? Well, it does because it goes, it automatically goes to each logical thing and you just simply select it. In other words, it's not like installing Arch Linux. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Okay. Um, um, format drive and continue. Yeah, and click next and start installing. Hmm. And then you just enter your full name. I just say any password. Done. And then you just type it again. That's a very short password. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, and then name what the computer is called. That'll do. Family PC. No, but that's just a fake name. <laughs> you got to put the real name. Okay. There you go. <laughs> you can't have the word real name. It doesn't like that name. Oh. Uh, real is okay. It just has to be one word. That's all at once. Oh, okay. Real, real name. <laughs> Passwords don't match. You but they do. You typed one of them. <laughs> it's five letters. You had five letters and you got them wrong. <laughs> there we go. Installing the Shell OS. So it says, thanks for being patient. It'll take a while to install the Shell OS. Even if the bar is not moving, the installation is still running. So it's currently unsquashing the file system to the disk. This could take a while. Unsquashing? Yep. Now we're just going to skip to see what happens to once you have fully installed it. Okay, here you go. It is finished installing and now you are ready to log in. Okay, so I enter my password. First of all, this is a new boot screen. It's part of the Shell OS 7.0. What do you think of the new boot screen? I can't actually remember what the old one was. I don't know if you saw the I, old I one. I can't remember the this old one. one. The new features of this. I shell. like blue. Okay. It's oh. a bit plain though. But do boot screens, what else would you want on a boot screen? Maybe a nice picture. You got the password wrong again. Oh, what? <laughs> Okay, welcome to the Shell 7.0. This only comes up the first time you actually boot into this OS. So it says, let's get your PC ready and show you what's new. This will only take a minute. So just click get started. Mm -hmm. So this is the new version of the Shell. This shows you all the new features. Wow, that it's are got in a this. lot of new features. Yeah, that are in this. But they're very little things like flight mode has been added or Bluetooth switch now works properly before it didn't actually work properly, mm -hmm. but now it actually works. See, so they're very little things. Uh, there's a new calculator app. Instead of KCalc, it's the calculator. Remember everything is the something, mm -hmm. the terminal, the this, mm -hmm. the that. Um, do you want to enable the wave? I don't know what it's it like is. A, it's kind of like a Siri it. or Cortana. Um, the status bar, uh, would you like to have that? It has the time and stuff on it. Yeah, why not? Okay, use the status bar. And that's it. You're ready to use. Click begin. And here we go. And as you can see, the first time you actually open it, it says, ready to begin. The gateway is the portal to everything on your PC. To open it, click the shell icon or hit the super key. So you can actually see here it's telling you what to do. Mm. Do you understand what it's saying? Yeah. What is it saying to do? Well, it's click the shell and icon. Where is the shell icon? Or the super key. Well, it's somewhere, isn't it? <laughs> there you go, you did it. And then. Well, it, it was the only thing there, so. <laughs> and as you can see here, you've got all your programs on the side, and it's got another little hint. Do things super speedy. Just open the gateway and type what you want to do. You don't even need to click on the search box. So you could right now start typing if you wanted to open an application. Let's say you just click that, type Firefox, press enter. Just open the calculator just before you destroy this. So, is this scrollable or not? 
Yes, it is. I can see a blue bar there. Yeah, um, you can the grab calculator. The calculator. There it is. There you go. What do you think of the icon? Well, it's it stands out. <laughs> but <laughs> I would I don't know about uh, having a plus. I mean, obviously, plus is a feature in the calculator. But um, I probably would have had an actual picture of a calculator. But then at the same time, look at every other icon there. I don't know where I was going with that. Would it no, fit? neither did I. <laughs> would I was fit? waiting to find out. <laughs> would it, well, I was about to say, like, they're very simplistic. But not really, I mean... For example, the file has got a folder. It's not actually a file. Mm -hmm. It's a folder. <laughs> so, and the terminal's just like a dollar sign and yeah. a little platform for someone to stand on. You, you, you get what well, I mean. Well, let's just say the plus really stood out anyway. So there we go. <laughs> Okay, and there you the go. That's what the calculator looks like. It's very Victor Tranny with the whole blue thing. You know what I mean? Mm. Okay, well, there we go. You are in the calculator. It is now time to get out of the calculator because it's time to play Death Command Roulette. So this time around with destroying the operating system, you're not just going to go online and type, oh, how do I destroy Linux? And you find the general thing. Mm. We're going to play a Death Command game. So I've got a list of 13 commands. Just for good luck, I've got 13. You are going to go and find where I've got the list of commands. So they're somewhere on the computer, they're in your home folder. So you want to open some kind of a file browser and find where exactly I've got the list of 13 commands. Okay, well I think it would be somewhere in here. There's actually, for good luck, there's actually two file managers The file, here. okay, there's a file manager there and there's a package manager. Well, you use the word file, so I'm going to go yep. in there. Yeah, packages are generally for um, different things like software installed and all that. Okay, so one's list of commands and one is a format. Okay, well, well I'm one assuming is else. you don't go to the format. Okay. I'm assuming you go to the list of commands. So I'm going to double click that. And it says what program do you want to open it with? Once you've set this, it remembers it from now on. Uh -huh. This is the first time. What are you going to open it with? Why doesn't it just open? Because just by default, it gives you a choice of what you want to open it with. I don't know. Applications? <laughs> but what application? Double Any application. <laughs> whatever application will open it. So what do you think is one that is a text editor? Is it the beat? What do you think the beat is? No, I think it's the file. Which is what you're in now. Well, I thought a file thing would open a file. No, but you're in the file thing. Well, it's not Bluetooth. So you need a text editor. It's not a music program. No. It's not a calculator. No. It's not the thing you view files in. The slate. Terminal. No, it's the slate. Okay, well, the slate. <laughs> okay, there we go. Where did all my commands go? They're <laughs> not here. <laughs> oh, no. It didn't save it properly. But it's 279 bytes. What's going on? Victor Tran. Maybe it cleaned the slate. <laughs> Wipe the slate No, clean. I don't want a fresh slate. There we go. We'll just open it like that. I just opened it, rather than opening it like that, I just opened it through the slate first. Anyway, so we're just going on to an online notepad. I can't work out how you actually resize text in this application. So we're just going to paste it here and make the text a little bit bigger. At the end of this. No, I don't like the way that one set out. The, the lines under it are annoying me. This is just to make it easier for the viewers to actually read it. Not that there's anything wrong with my <laughs> eyesight reading it. <laughs> okay. I wish we could get rid of those. Back to dictionary, I'll just add them all to the dictionary. Oh, can't you just do a global dictionary? Add, a global. add everything to the dictionary. <laughs> but then there's no point of a dictionary because if you add everything to the dictionary. Well, can you disable the dictionary then so that it. You probably could, but rather than Googling how to disable the dictionary, I'd just rather add everything to the dictionary. So that, therefore, if you actually do a typo, your dictionary is going to be virtually useless. Oh, wait, check. Yeah, that's it. Okay. I figured out how to turn it off at the last second, but I. I'd mostly added everything to the dictionary. Okay, here is a list of 13 different commands. Mm -hmm. Now you're going to play Death Command Roulette. The goal here is you're going to pick one of these commands that you think is not bad. Okay? Oh, not bad? Not bad. You want to pick oh. a not bad But command. I thought the whole point was to destroy the operating We're system. We're just doing a little twist on this. You're going to destroy it in the end. Four of these commands are bad. Yeah. Nine of them are good. There's 13 oh, good. in total. So they add to the operating system and may enhance it. No, they're just funny little things. <laughs> okay. okay. Anyway, um, so you're going to basically open a terminal yes. and you're going to try and pick a command. Okay. Now, you don't want to destroy this. Mm -hmm. Okay? You don't want to. If you destroy this, you lose. You've got to try and pick the nine that are good. So well, it makes all, a very short video then. First of all, open the terminal. Do I want a drop down terminal just or do I want a terminal. normal terminal? A normal terminal. <laughs> okay, so I've got a normal terminal. So I've just made a little before destruction snapshot so we can go back in time if 
giant that accidentally does destroy it. So you've basically got three lives here. If you pick a bad command, you know, you just want the last... Well, it makes my odds pretty good then. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but see if you can do it without losing any lives. Okay. So here you go, here is the terminal, and there is a list of bad commands. Now, I want you to really think about this. Okay, well... What command do you think is safe? First of all, safe? I'm four not we'll going to touch this one. Okay. I think that's one of the four bad ones, because it's got the word delete in it, and a figlet. What is a figlet? A small fig. <laughs> Okay. I don't know, but I'm don't not like going to touch it. it. And white drive, forget that. Okay. No matter if a cow said to do it, I am not wiping the drive. A cow said to do it. So those two, I believe, are two of the bad ones. Okay. I believe that one's a safe one. That's a fun one, I think. Okay. Because it's got Pac-Man in it. Yes. Okay. <laughs> But I want you to be really confident and choose one you absolutely think is completely okay. safe. Pac-Man, I believe, is completely safe. You think pseudo-Pac-Man, RSC, System D is a safe one? Yes. Okay, and you are sure? This is like who wants to be a millionaire. I'm just well, the host that no matter what you with say... With that I'm tone of say voice you're saying, I'm I wouldn't say so are you sure? sure with anything. Okay, well, I'm just going to copy it. Yep. I'm going to go over here. And paste. And I'm going to paste okay, it. Okay, Diana has chosen pseudo Batman, And it says password for Diana, because whenever you um, type a command yeah. with the word pseudo in front of it, you do need to enter your password. Okay, so she's entered a password. It doesn't appear, so people don't see it. And now it says total removed size. Do you want to remove these packages? Yes or no? And it's going to remove 1.8 gigabytes of packages, and that's a list of things that it's going to remove. Actually, I don't think I do want to remove that because that's a lot of stuff. So Pac-Man... I thought it was going to add a fun thing, not remove a whole stack of things. Mm. So you know what? I have a feeling that's, that's a bad a one. Ba you feel that's a bad command. Okay. So that so is... So I'm going to say no. Okay. So, so what that is... So you know what I'm going to do automatically? You can mark, don't delete it, just mark it. It's like Minesweeper here. Mm -hmm. You're choosing what you think's a bad command and you put that in front of it if you think yep. it's a bad and command. And I so do can... believe this figlet thing. <laughs> figlet is a bad command. Yep. Okay. And I do believe the cow say wiping drive is a bad one. Okay. So it just means... But I'm not going to confirm anything until the very end Okay, I believe this one's a good one Pseudo because it's got fortune in it, which <laughs> is very good. And lol, cat, you're laughing at a cat. So okay. I am going so to it. get that. Remember, nothing can happen till you press enter. You can paste it in and you're fine, but the moment you press enter, that is when things can happen. So let's hope Dinah has good fortune. And it's got in rainbow writing, there are no data that cannot be plotted on a straight line if the axes are chosen correctly. Now, Let's explain what this was. Fortune is just a random little thing. You didn't have to write lolcat. If you just wrote fortune, it'll just give a little... No one gets sick on Wednesdays. It's got oh, these silly little quotes. fortune. It's yeah, like fortune cookies. Little quotes. Now, lolcat yeah. is basically rainbow text. Yeah. So if I write lolcat here and I say, hello, I am the creator, it will basically rainbow whatever you write. So okay. I basically made you get your fortune and rainbow it. Yeah, but it's yeah, not really yeah, a yeah. fortune app. It just says random funny little quotes yeah, from yeah. a bunch of different texts. Okay. Stuff. So that's so all I that was. Right. Just delete that command. Oh, okay. So delete. Once you've gone good. Elimination. Yep. Yeah. Elimination. Gone. And, okay, there we go. Now, so, I'm assuming that can't do much because it's only SL. There are eight so, good commands. Commands. I'm going to use that one. Okay. Because, I mean, SL. It's the smallest one there, oh, wait, so it could do the least amount of damage. Sometimes the smallest of things can be the most destructive. So, it's a steam locomotive. There you go, it was just a steam train in text characters. Oh, that was interesting. So, that was a safe command yet again. So, there are now seven good commands left and four bad commands left, okay? Now, one of the commands on this list, I will say, is actually a command that you have used to destroy Ubuntu before when you uh -huh. destroyed Ubuntu. Well, I don't remember that. One of the that. commands is the Ubuntu destroyer Can I just command. say, I don't know about this. I think that's another bad. I think that's a fourth bad one because it's got the word format in it and that's normally not a good thing to have in it. I'm going to say they're the four bad ones. You think those are the four bad ones? Okay. So, I'm tending to go to these little ones because there's less words there less letters meaning less damage maybe okay so, now you do fire, get one no 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 i don't like the fire you get one lifeline in this okay Matrix. your lifeline you can I'm use it whenever this. you want your lifeline is called check marked and that basically means i will tell you how many of your checked ones that you've got once you've checked a bad 
are good or bad. Like, let's say oh. how many you've gotten right. So I'll say one out of four are okay, correctly okay, okay. the bad ones. So I you wanna, can use that whenever. I do want to know that because now, then I can... Oh, no. But I, I won't tell you matrix. which one. I won't tell you which one, okay? I'll just tell you if you've okay, got one look, out of four I'm going to do right. the matrix. I'm going to take it. Okay. Matrix. Because okay. it sounds like a game. Okay, let's see. Will the matrix be safe? As soon as you press enter, it's just simply, it looks like Matrix. It's a cool little there we go. animation. Um, whenever you want to stop some kind of a script from running, you just have to be yeah. in the terminal. So well, I know that's okay. okay. <laughs> you just click in there and press Control C. Control C. Yep, that just stops scripts, basically. Okay. There you go. It's almost 50-50 now. Yeah. Six are good, four are bad. Yeah, okay. I don't know about this because it's a fire. Now, and fire is normally bad. So I'm going to sort of like just... Can I just say, yep, fire, you think fire is bad? Okay, I'm going to say something. Most Linux people who use Linux and use the terminal, they would instantly spot out the four bad commands. It's Can I just say, obvious. I'm beginning to think that this blueprint, the shell, is a bad one. I'm beginning to think that... But so then I'm again, gonna... you've now got five checked. Yeah, but so I'm going to put a question mark there so that caution with that one because I have a feeling that's not a good one. Okay. Because it's Remember, got you the can shell use in it. Your lifeline at any point, and you only get it once. So it well, will tell what? you how many of your four are correctly decided uh -huh. as bad. I think that one's okay because all that's going to do is some sort of blinking light thing. Okay. So if you're in a room and the lights are blinking, let's just hope you're going to be safe. This hard work was done by Simon and Mike. I just placed it online in a different format. So here we go. You're going to experience ASCII Star Wars to its fullest. Oh, wow. So what this is, is remember... Wait a sec, let me just make this a bit bigger. Oh, 20th yeah. 20th Century Fox, remember Star That's Wars. And it's the whole Star Wars movie yeah. in text characters. That's great. And that's what it is. Anyway... You just got yet another safe one. I thought so. So you can now... Because I just thought blinking C. lights sounded like yeah. a fun thing. Okay, so blinking lights was safe. Okay. Four are bad, five are good. I bet this just simply does something, puts something on the screen in a certain position or does something like that. I don't think... Would it... you like to, before you do that, Okay, ask... tell me, forget about this question yep, yep. mark one. Out of the four, how many have you got right? Yes. Okay, so you've got one out of four right. <gasps> well, one, one out of four. So, okay, so, so that three means... three of them are okay safe. commands, and one of them is a bad one. I think wipe drive is bad, but also deleting a... C... Oh, no, that's deleting a C drive. That would have to be bad. Formatting would have to be bad. That's the one you ran before. Four, and it said removing 1.8 gig yeah, and you got scared right. and these ones you know that good. one of them are bad that's all I can say oh. one of them is bad well that means then that three oh no no <laughs> one is bad okay that so that means one of the ones that you've three of is these bad. are bad yes so three of these are bad. One, two, three, four, five. So three out of these yep. is bad. Exactly. <gasps> Which ones? Oh, this is hard. So in other words, you've pretty much got a better chance of randomly putting in one of the ones you've actually put a mark in front of. I know. As opposed to selecting one of the ones that don't have a mark in front of them. Well, I'm going to get rid of that question mark because I just kind of don't think. Well, that could be one of the bad ones. I have a feeling it could be that that's bad because that's deleting a whole lot of stuff that you might need. But wiping drive and fidget delete C drive rev format. Maybe formatting it hot according to the reverend. Maybe <laughs> making it holy. I'm gonna use this. According to the reverend. Yeah, maybe you're just taking all the evilness out of it and you're formatting it according reverend approved. So I'm gonna copy that. Okay. I'm gonna put it in there. Okay now once you press enter here we I go. Know. So just relax and when you're ready press enter. Password for diner, put it in. <laughs> I was closing my eyes. <laughs> so when you press it again, this is when, when you get the results. Complete system format has been initiated, but I just scammed you. Why? Because there's no system format that's going to be initiated now. So that, I said that you was, put that deliberately. Uh, that was a complete setup. To oh, throw well, you, you off. failed because you put the rev there. I interpreted that as a reverend, something holy, so it must okay. be a good format. So what so, rev is, b before delete. you finish, let's look at what the command is first. What is rev? Well, rev allows you, let's just write rev. It allows you to do this. If you type something, hello, 
it'll just say it backwards. Rev is reverse. Oh. It makes it say something backwards. And you're probably wondering, well, if you said Rev format, why didn't it say Tamroth? You know, yeah. like format backwards. Format, whatever you write after Rev, if you just write Rev then a line, yeah. it will basically reverse a file. Yeah. on the computer. Now, if you remember back to when you opened the list of commands here, remember there was another file here mm. called format? Well, let's just go to this and see what format actually contains. So we're going to open it, format, and this is actually all it is. Format, there is just a text file that says this. Okay. But what it's done is it's reversed the text file and all this says is complete system format has been initiated mm -hmm. in reverse but reversing it is making it say it forward mm -hmm. to make it trick you into thinking so that's how that worked. So you just picked one of the commands okay. that was completely so, safe. I'm going to delete that but you did throw me but you stuffed up with the rev. Okay. <laughs> yeah, well rev just means reverse there's no <laughs> other way to say it. We're going to now save the state um, in case you, you know what? think about it. I'm command. thinking figlet delete C is okay as well because figlet, it's almost a figlet of your imagination. <laughs> it's figment, not a well, figlet, you've a figment. Did, you've done that to throw me. So you know what? I'm going to use that one now. Okay, we're just saving the state in case you make a mistake now. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight are left. Well, four of these are bad, four are good. So you've literally got a one in two chance, 50-50 chance of picking a bad and you've got to make sure you only pick the next four well, good Well I have a feeling you've put that there mm -hmm. to throw me and you've done a play on words. This is a figlet of your imagination <laughs> instead of figment. Of, so I'm going to use that one. Thanks. Remember once you press this there's no going back, okay? So get ready. I should really Google search what figlet means. You're not allowed to Google search. You. Just in case it really is something bad. That would be cheating. If you Google it, oh, that okay. would be cheating, okay? okay? Because you could technically just put each of these commands in Google and one would say, never trust this command. You know what? I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to do pseudo a fire because I have a feeling that's a good one. Pseudo a fire, <laughs> okay. Yep. So let's hope that this one doesn't end in flames. Press enter. And it has ended in flames. What? It's just a fl animation of flames oh, with text. Oh, well that's okay. <laughs> so you picked yet another safe command. So now the chances of picking a good one are even yeah. more tough now because there are only three good ones this one and four bad okay ones. This seems okay as well. RM.RF. I mean, that. how could that few little words... You've done a good job throwing me with delete and wipe drive. Well, if so, you know you one know of them are safe... Now, I'm going to use that. Okay. Wait a sec, but then how many? So that could mean that these four here are the and bad remember, ones. And remember, one of the commands on the screen is also a command you've used before to destroy Ubuntu, okay? Copy. Look, I'm just, my logic here is that it's only a few little letters there. How could that possibly do any damage? Hmm? Have I done damage? I might just delete that. You didn't press it into properly. Oh, That's all. Is that you all? just didn't press into properly. I could hear your computer revving up. I thought, oh no, it's <laughs> revving up for disaster. <laughs> revving up. Okay. Okay. It is dangerous to operate recursively on forward slash. Use no preserve roof to override this failsafe. So it's just come up with some message. No, 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 no. It just means whatever you. It just said what you're trying to do is dangerous if you just have a slash. It just recommends if you want to um, override this failsafe thing, to simply add the command no preserve root at the end of it. If it's coming up with a failsafe. So would safe, you like to add that to the end and do the command again properly? Because this is how you're supposed to do it. You haven't actually. It didn't do what it was meant to do. And Unless you have no preserve root at the end. Well, why wasn't that typed in first? You know what? My logic now is that if it's saying it's dangerous to do this, I'm not gonna. I'm. I'm gonna mark this one now. I think it's. This so you one. now think that that's dangerous. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yep, yep. okay. okay. I believe so you that. Think, so you think those are the four dangerous ones? No. But you know, two of them aren't dangerous. I believe these two are not. Well, dangerous. technically, two or three of them, because you don't know. Oh yeah, I know. You know what? I think you've done that to me. Wipe drive makes me feel as if it's just going to wipe the whole drive, whereas C, even if I wipe C, well, I've got A, B, and oh all God. the rest. That was a really funny one. Uh, so. okay. <laughs> okay. Look, if you were a knowledgeable Windows user, that would freak you out, that command. This if you one. were a knowledgeable Windows user. But the point... Are you saying I'm not a knowledgeable Windows user and I do use Windows? You know what? Pe yeah, there's a lot of people who use Windows out there, but they're not knowledgeable Windows users. I think you've put 
that there to freak me out deliberately. So you know what? So before you press enter, I'll just explain something. C drive is a drive where all your files, it's basically everything, your whole computer. Oh, but that's, why isn't it just wipe drive? Well, technically, if you stick a USB in, that might be the E drive, and a CD might be on the A drive, or floppy disk might be on the A drive. So C drive is just the drive, your main computer drive, wipe everything on that. But is this command just throwing you off or is it a real command? But I'm just explaining. But you're what continuing to throw me off now. Well, I could be continuing. The see, this is what you people on who wants to be a millionaire do. Delete C forward slash. What do you think it did? It just did that. So the command figlet, you don't even need the word pseudo in front of it. All that figlet does is, is you write something. So can if I, I say, say figlet OS first do? timer. I was actually pressing the thing. Look at that OS first timer. Can I just say, it's <laughs> yeah. funny, but I was actually going to, I highlighted so I could delete it. Yeah. But I actually <laughs> pressed enter and executed it because I, I actually was going to delete it because I was getting You're too getting scared. scared. <laughs> and I accidentally pressed enter, meaning I executed it. <laughs> But then it's fine. So Okay, I've, so command roulette is going it's okay. so far. <laughs> so you know what? Yeah. Delete. Can I just say you're going unbelievably well right now. You've got only six commands left. Four are bad, two are good. So there's a two in three chance, basically, or a four in six chance that you're going to pick a bad command now. So the I'm odds gonna, are pretty high. I'm going to pick this one. T to think this is something you initially marked as bad. I know. You actually initially marked this as bad. Now you've changed your mind and I you're tried. risking everything. I'll say. Oh, I don't like those words you're using. What? No, but, but the, the Pac-Man is... thing sounds more bad. Pac-Man sounds a little bit fun, though. No. No, but it it was bad when it said how much stuff I'm actually deleting. Remember, good lesson in life. Just if something sounds fun, it doesn't mean it is and it could be dangerous. Do you know what? I'm actually going to do this one. So you're going with something that looks long and complicated. Because it doesn't have the word wipe or blueprint. And I know it's not the one that's going to wipe out all of the... Just because something doesn't disclaim the fact that it's risky, it doesn't mean that it isn't risky. Literally everything that's coming out of my mouth now is going to so say if something bad equals about anything. Dev zero of dev star star. <laughs> that's a different way of spelling star. S T A R star. <laughs> SDA. Yes. Oh, I don't so know. So what's funny is you're saying, oh, that just looks like a big long. I don't know what it does, so I'll put it in there. That's kind of what you did no, with the but short, it just small doesn't command. Have wipe you're saying, oh, this one RM slash RF. It doesn't look bad, so it, it's so short. How what damage could you do with that? So it's almost like, what damage could you do with that? You're saying that that's really short. The bottom command it couldn't do. And now this long command, you're saying, oh, it looks so long and silly. It possibly couldn't do anything wrong. See, you. I don't like. But the point is, I don't like the word blueprint, and I don't like the word wipe drive. But you know what? I'm going to take it. Oh, I don't know whether I want to take it. Actually. But remember, you do know one of them. That one of the one, at least one of them. One of is these safe. is good. And you, but that's you do a 50 50. That's a 50 50. But the Pac Man did get you scared before. Yeah, it did. Now, you know what? I'm, I'm going to take a risk. Okay. And I believe. Diana I'm is this. taking a risk. <laughs> you can't even <laughs> select it. Cal <laughs> say wipe drive. Will it wipe the drive? Oh, I don't know whether I really want to do that because I'm so <laughs> This is now. the most intense game of <laughs> d death command roulette. And this one just reminds me of some sort of yogurt in the shell of the blue. <laughs> yogurt in the shell of the blue. <laughs> Maybe that would be... But I don't like the word... Maybe if I just enter that without the word blueprint. No, you have to have the word oh, no. blueprint. Well, look, I'm just going to... There, done. It's a cow and he's saying wipe drive. Cow say white drive. You can literally say cow say anything, see? Cow oh, say. There we are. Hello, Diana. See, cow can say anything. It's a cow that says oh, whatever okay. you want it to say. So I did cow say white drive. Cow say is a fun little program. It doesn't actually come with the shell. I just had to install it on the shell, but you can install this pretty much on a lot of different Linux distros. And it doesn't have to be a cow. There's, it comes with, I think, about a, a ton of different little mm -hmm. things. It can say even a little tax penguin saying or little animals saying things. You just did the cow say um so okay there you go so I'm going to delete that. Was that a cute command? So now I know 100%. One of these is bad. This one is bad. And four are good. That one's I mean, one of... <laughs> so you are now one. at the very, very... This is literally the final moment. You've literally picked out yeah. eight good commands and you've avoided four bad commands, but you've only got one good command left, so you've literally got to Do find... Do you know what? How about you go down the list, talk about each command, and tell me what each one is. Well, it's saying that you can make some sort of an extension 
four by developing a star one. <laughs> Something like that. I think that one's a safe one. This one is a bit long, but it could now, also be safe. Now, I'm just going to give I you a I don't like this because it's got the blueprint. That one I know is bad, and that one I think is bad. <laughs> that one I know is bad, and that one I think is bad. Okay. So that is how you are feeling right now. Yeah. Okay. So you're ready to type in whatever you like. Choose you know the what? command. It's literally a one in five chance, a 20% chance that you're going to be right here. 20%. Blueprint. Maybe that just makes the print blue. Maybe it's a little trick you've done, which <laughs> it then... makes the print blue. You know what? I'm you thinking You just got to choose that. one. I'm thinking that. Copy. Okay. Here we go. Yogurt blueprint shell. What's it going to do? Downloading the shell blueprint package build from the AUR. Unsupported package, potentially dangerous. Oh, no, 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 no. Now, Stop. what back, do you want to back, do? Back, back, back. Do you want to? No, that's bad. Edit pa oh, package I want build. A so, edit means you can actually look at the script? No. Okay, you didn't want to do that? No. Okay. Because it's come up with that. No. Okay. So, yeah. you know what? I'm going to mark that. I believe that's bad. So, you believe that the shell yogurt blueprint is bad? <laughs> Maybe the yogurt's gone off. That is bad. <laughs> the yogurt's gone off, okay. Okay. <laughs> so you've got two commands here that you feel are the good ones. One is a very, very one long of those. one. And one is not so long. Mm, sometimes it's smaller things that can do damage. I think this just is saying if something equals that, equals that, equals that, then the can't <laughs> So you know what? Is something equals that equals that equals that, and then the count's one <laughs> like that? That just shows you know absolutely nothing of what you're doing. So what are you gonna do? Paste, and it says one plus records in, one plus O records out. Five hundred and twelve bytes copied. Well, that's all right. It's just actually it's not. What is that one of the bad ones? Try rebooting the shell. Oh no! Try rebooting the shell, or we could just use that as a lifeline. Well, I may as well. It's literally, the computer now won't boot mm -hmm. if you try to boot it. This is actually one of the commands Victor Tran decided to put in there for you. He says it actually overrides the MBR, like the master boot record of the computer. Okay. Okay. I so, should have taken my first instinct saying it's long, it can do most damage. Okay. So. so you know that this is a bad command. Okay. Now, luckily for you... This doesn't affect you until you boot the computer again. But you said one of those star ones was bad. I did. And so that was one of the star ones that was... So technically, you've just discovered it that is, is bad. a bad one. Congratulations. You have so discovered I know a bad one. So you know now that, that those there's still bad. one bad... Yeah, but you I technically I think those are bad. And actually, I'm gonna... what I'm going to do is you have technically used that. So since you've used that, I'll put it down here. So that literally wiped the master boot record yeah. off the computer. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, I think that's the good you one. You think that is the good one? Yeah. Well, I will give you a hint. Typically, before you press enter, typically every Linux user should generally have that command run, either a program's running it or they're running it, at least once. Dev slash SDA1 contains an ext4 file system named the shell OS, last mounted on that. Proceed anyway, yes or no? So it says dev slash SDA1 yeah. contains an ext4 file system labelled the shell OS, last mounted on that date. On do you want to proceed 15. anyway? So it's well, about that's to do. Today. It's about to do. No, that's yesterday. Yeah, because that's when I installed the shell OS. Well, it's so about, it's about, to, about do to do it again. So no, it's about to do something. Would you like to proceed with what it's going to do? Or well, would you not like to proceed? I would like to proceed. Deal or no deal? Deal. Well, because I yes. don't understand what it's really uh, saying what it's going to do. So just let it do it. That anyway. is a bad way. Way to go in life. No, but the point is... I don't understand what it's going to it do. It did it so yesterday, I'll just but anyway. it's saying it did it yesterday, so why not do it today as well? Why not do it every day, whatever it is? <laughs> just because you do... Like, for example, is I'm it... Just, yes, I'm just doing it. SDA1 is mounted, will not make a file system here. <laughs> I forgot about that. That was a bad one. That what? Basically... That was bad? That was bad, but it didn't work. <laughs> oh, well, so technically it wasn't bad. No, then. it was bad. <laughs> No, but if it didn't work, it wasn't bad. No, it didn't work because... This is basically what it is. So I've given me the full permission mm -hmm. to make a file system, and I want that file system to be an EXT4 system, which is like what people mostly mm -hmm. install Linux on, and I want to make that file... So wipe what's already there, and I want to make that file system 
on dev slash SDA1. Mm -hmm. So you're just making a file system. You're basically formatting and making file system on SD, but that's where the shell is installed. Mm. So that means wiping the whole computer, destroying it. Mm -hmm. What I said people usually have that command done at least once, it's when they install the system. Oh. When they install it, they have to wipe the drive, but then they install it. And you, and you did said, it Why yesterday. Not? Yeah, and you said, why not just do it every day? Well, you did it yesterday, no, but that's and like, it didn't no, seem to be a problem. That at the beginning. That's like saying okay, I may as well just oh, no, give birth no, no, no. every day. Give birth to the same person again and again well, every day. Day. So bad. that is a bad command. And so, so now, you know what? This one's the good so one. So stop, 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 stop. Because you've already done this. You've literally lost two lives here already. But you weren't. You've technically just been lucky. But it didn't work. That didn't work because it's already you're in the operating system. If it wasn't mounted, if you kind of got out of the operating system, then did it in the terminal, you would have been able to do it. But you were just lucky there. Okay. 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 That's so just you gonna think it is that. I do. I do. Pseudo yogurt. Now you did get scared last time you put this. It had. It had a warning. Remember. In fact, I'll stop, stop, I'll show you. The last time you did this, you saw this unsupported package potentially dangerous. Oh, that one, oh, I forgot about that. Yeah, so is that what you like to go with? You, it, it's 50-50 it's right now. 50, one is bad well, okay. and one is good. It's one of these two. It's either this preserve and that one, And that one said it was potentially dangerous. The preserve route said it was potentially dangerous. Well, what's but worse, potentially dangerous or potentially dangerous? <laughs> They're both potentially dangerous. Well, Actually, this what, one's let me see. Let me see. Yeah, I don't remember what it said. No, but it did say it's potentially. They're both, but dangerous. Well, for, both were potentially dangerous. Okay. Well, you know what? I'm just gonna go with this. You're just one. gonna go with it. Okay. Yeah. You just cut it. Paste. Before you do that, let's just put this back. Out of the two, she's chosen the bottom one. Look, that just went blue. That's not good. Maybe it's just. And it's saying Victor a bunch of Tran. stuff. Cannot run. <laughs> Victor Tran. Victor Tran has taken over. Um, and it's saying a bunch of stuff. Operation not permitted. And that thing went blue. Okay, that was bad. So, so it was the blueprint. Just because it didn't support it doesn't mean that you can't. So these use went it. blue. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, and let's just see this quickly. And all the programs are gone. Except your personal assistant. Maybe the personal assistant can assist you to get them all back again. <laughs> And that's why they left do the note, personal assistant there. Do in note. In case this happens so that you can recover now, it Now, do all. note, if you reboot now and yeah. you type this, you'd be stuffed. Okay. All your programs are gone. So if you yeah, close yeah, the terminal yeah. and got back into the terminal, you're stuffed. You deleted Victor Tran's theme. That's why it went to a default blue theme. Mm -hmm. So you but, are Which is his theme anyway. You are pretty much stuffed. Okay, you pretty much got stuff. Okay, okay. let's do the blue. Now, print. I want to remind you of something. This command here is actually what you use to destroy Ubuntu. Oh, I didn't remember. What it does is it says remove, yeah. so you're removing, oops. You did remove it. <laughs> you're removing everything from here, and this is like your whole system. So it removes everything that you've got on it. Any USBs you've got plugged yeah, in, yeah. it removes everything. It removes everything. Mm -hmm. It wipes everything and removes okay. everything. Okay? So, so that was is a bad one. Bad. So technically you failed. You used up all lives. Well, let's just and do you did the blueprint the and see command. what happens anyway. Go back to the thing. Come on. Here you go. But I did pretty good, though. I was doing... Very good in the beginning. Okay, so you can put it in if you like. But let's see, will this command actually work now that you've wiped a bunch of stuff from the Probably system? Probably not. No such file or directory. Mm -hmm. So... Maybe it's support... Well, it's not unsupported anymore. What it basically is, is Victor Tran has got the shell blueprint. That's basically a super, super beta version of the shell. It's what mm -hmm. he's currently working on, basically. Mm -hmm. It's the next version of the shell. Um, and he's still... He's adding new features and stuff to it. So basically all that does is um, this command here is how you get stuff off the Arch user repository mm -hmm. where Victor Tran has uploaded his file mm -hmm. and you're basically saying yep download and install it and the shell is you're just going to download his beta version of his next operating system. But would it override this operating system? No it gives you an option to, oh, okay. to on the start. Well that blueprint so, sounded like a pretty important word that could possibly destroy something so that's why I yeah. was kind of okay. So basically now you can see all the bad commands Mm. There you go. Now, you were put off the blueprint. I can't even find it now because it, it said it was potentially dangerous, but it wasn't. Yeah, but in flashing red writing, <laughs> potentially dangerous. I mean, instead of saying potentially dangerous, it should just come up with a warning saying... I don't know, not dangerous. <laughs> okay. Well, not, not a warning, <laughs> not but dangerous. just say, don't worry, it's not dangerous. Okay, so there we no. go. Diana had a go at... Um, 
death command roulette. But I did she, pretty good. I mean, well, she did I good got at down. the start, but then at the end, when you, you literally, there was a 20% chance of you picking, a, you know, the right file. You literally then, you had all these things, and you chose to execute all the bad commands rather than the good command. So you went good at the start, and then you went, things took a turn yeah, for the worst. Yeah, but the chances were against me. Yeah, I, mean, I know. You know. Yeah. Um, now, anyway, this removes everything. This wipes over the main drive. This basically wrecks the master boot record and this basically removes a bunch of stuff but even if you did execute this now it wouldn't matter because you've already removed everything anyway okay yep. so basically the computer and this even though it said potentially dangerous in flashing red writing it's not potentially dangerous yeah. and it just should say not potentially dangerous okay well, in flashing blue writing well now that this uh, now it doesn't look destroyed it is destroyed if you close terminal it won't yeah, open ever again yeah. if you close this chrome window it won't because chrome doesn't exist You've got two programs open that don't exist anymore. You can't boot them. Now it is time to reboot and see the effects of this destruction. So reboot the shell OS. So there you go. Those programs will never be able to be opened again. End session. And what are you going to do? Reboot. Oh no. Yeah. Here we go. Let's see what happens. Well, there we go. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. So... I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is, it, it can't even shut, do you know what it's trying to do? It's trying to reboot, but it can't even shut down properly. Mm -hmm. That's what it's trying to do. So it's literally trying to shut itself down and it can't shut itself down. So you've literally ended with, with the, the gray screen of death. Yeah. And that is the end of this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Diana destroying the shell unintentionally, but kind of intentionally, with the Death Command Roulette game. We will see you guys in the next episode of OS First Timer. Goodbye. Bye.